So if you're a homeowner, frustrated or confused about how to add circuits to your panel, let me show you how to do it. In this case, we've got a 200 amp disconnect on the exterior of the home. Make sure you turn off main power so you safely remove your electrical panel cover. First, my go-to always for combining circuits is lighting loads. Old incandescent lighting loads were 10 times heavier than modern LED loads. So when you're looking for lightly loaded circuits, LED lights and lighting circuits are the first key. What do you do if you don't have any lighting circuits? In this case, I've got smoke detectors and Photocell Bedroom 3. Things to stay away from, sump pumps, furnaces, kitchens, and bathrooms. You want those circuits to be strong, and in fact, by code, they're required. So here's option one, with the panel and the breakers off to loosen the terminations. From there, I'm gonna use my Wago and pigtail. It's a 14 gauge pigtail because it's a 15 amp circuit. Matches, I'm gonna remove my conductors and slip them under the Wago to make sure they're fully seated. And also, I don't want any exposed conductor here, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna bring my pigtail in, land it on the breaker, using my number square, two square drive, and tighten it down, approximately 15 inch pounds. Now we've got an available breaker. The breaker just gets rocked out of place. If it's too tight to do that, sometimes you can use a little extra leverage with a flathead screwdriver to get it started. Now, if you're adding a 240 volt double pull breaker, you might need to reshuffle the deck once your circuit combinations are complete to get two spaces side by side. If you're just gonna keep this open for future use, make sure that you need to put a panel KO closer in place to protect accidental contact with live parts when you're done. 